Good day everyone, this is Teacher Nori and this video is the second part in learning about techniques in separating mixtures. Why do we need to separate mixtures? There are situations or circumstances where we need to separate mixtures, like in recycling water, desalination of water, washing things, and extraction or recovery of reusable materials. In the first video, we have discussed about filtration, evaporation, and distillation. In this video, we are going to start with decantation. Decantation is used in separating insoluble solid-liquid mixtures and immiscible liquid-liquid mixtures with different densities. The separation is done by gently removing one of the components by tilting the container. Examples of mixtures separated by decantation are water and rice and water and oil. In the laboratory, we can also use a separatory funnel to separate immiscible liquid-liquid mixtures. Sieving is another technique in separating mixtures. In this technique, we separate mixtures that involve solids of varying particle size. The larger particles will not be able to pass through the sieve, thus separating the particles by size. This is another form of filtration, but th this only works for solid-solid mixtures. Examples of mixtures that can be separated by sieving are gravel and sand, flour and salt, and fishing. The last technique that we are going to discuss is by using magnets. In this technique, we need to separate mixtures where one component is made up of iron or is magnetic. Examples of its use are in waste segregation and in picking metallic objects from wood chips or sand. This video is the conclusion in our discussion about separating techniques or separating mixtures. There are several types more that you can find. Why not try looking for them? Until next time!